Hi there, this is Marlena, and I am just going to share with you a short clip on 2021's Feng Shui. So right now we're still in last year's energy according to my charts here, and we're about to shift out of it, so I wanted to give you an upgrade to what is um, coming ahead. As you know, we have just been through the ringer here, and that was due to the seven star flying into the center of everyone's home, and the five and the two star, which were sitting in the east and in the south sectors of each and every home. Um, we've been afflicted on every side, so to speak. We are still going to be wearing the mask and um, keeping our self um, distanced from other people for this year. As I can see, because we are going into the metal ox year, which I believe is a year of moving and changing. So it's an energy of um, yang. Yang is an energy of moving, okay? So making changes, big changes, if you think about an ox. An ox is big, okay? And since it's another metal year, um, we always have two um, of the elements. So this year, again, is a metal year. So metal, as we know, is um, white round silver. We're going to be um, talking a little bit about some easy cures for you and your family to keep safe as possible. Number one, we want to keep the energy um, in our home uh, at an even flow, open space, clean, decluttered. Okay, outside of your home, the same thing. The energy comes from the outside in. So keep the outside of your home clean as well. Okay, and I realize that a lot of people right now are in the winter season where you get ice and snow and some other, you know, weather-related issues. So we take that into consideration as well. We want to um, really pay attention to these sectors in February. We are going to be doing a shift uh, for some that start Feeling the shift at the end of January, such as myself, will be implementing the uh, feng shui changes as early as that, depending on what you um, feel in your body, okay, and what to do. You are geared by spirit to make the changes. So I'm giving you an upgrade free of charge, so sit tight and take notes. Uh, you can listen to the video again, all right? Now, the first um, area of the home that I want to um, focus on is the north. The north has been afflicted, all right, last year as well. This year, the two star, which is an illness star, is going to fly to the north. You want to spend the less time possible in the north area of your homes, okay, and your offices. So, um, also, I want you to look up your Kua number if you are of the East um, or the West group and where your best areas are. You can look that up free online, KUA number. Find out about you and your family members where their um, best areas are. And then locate it with my Feng Shui chart to see if that is a good area for you to be in during this time. It makes a lot of sense to do um, the work to find out exactly what's going to happen if you spend a lot of time in that section. Okay, so if it's a closet, a garage, an attic, things like that, a bathroom, it's, you know, not as bad as if it's your living room or your office. So um, contact me if it is uh, your office. So that we can work something out for you specifically. All right. The website's right on the video. They're in bright yellow with the red background. You can't miss it. All right. And it's underneath the video in the description box. 
So let's go for the north. Okay, so the illness star is the number two star. We dealt with it last year. That means more of the virus, um, the flu, other things like that. So in the north, okay, which happens to be where one of my doors are. Um, so if that is where your front door is or a, you know, nice section of your home, um, you know, you want to find out where the north is so that you can apply this easy cure for you and your family. All right. I already actually started to work on my home. All right. Because it's so big. So anyway, the um, easy feng shui cure for the number two star uh, is metal, believe it or not. Now, usually the north um, is water energy. So with the two star coming in, uh, we want to add big metal and I'm talking big metal. I'm not talking little bowls. Okay. So at my front door, I have placed two very big size metal bases. Okay. And they have white flowers in them and silver, beautiful. Um, I don't know what you want to call them, but they're beautiful, you know, tall, wavy, you know, items coming up out of the pots. Okay. And then outside, uh, on both sides of the doors, I have placed, um, some metal cures outside, um, as well. All right. So you can do your, um, homework there and see you have a couple of weeks now that you can grab some big bases. If that's your door, um, figure out something that's a large metal. It could be large weights, uh, weighing like 30, 40 pounds, whatever that is, um, to tone that down. You want to get rid of the illness out of your home, the best of your ability. Correct? Yes. Okay. And to begin using a different door. Okay. For the most part, do not slam that door. Do not do any construction in the North whatsoever. All right. Especially, um, when we go into the, um, beginning of this, all right, because we are going to be dealing with a illness star and, um, it also has a very small, uh, timely star, which flies in with it. All right. But that one only stays for the month and then it ships every month. So you can get updated by staying on this channel and you'll know what's coming in that month. So we are going to be faced with an illness star in the north. We're going to place large metal. Okay. Um, figure out what you have around your home that will fit in that space. All right. And find out where the north is grabbing a compass. Um, it may be on your smartphone. You may have to buy a feng shui compass, whatever that is. You have time to do that. All right. The next area that we're going to focus on where the seven star is now going to move to the northwest corner of every home. Okay. The seven was the one uh, that was causing all the robbery and the violence. Okay. So that seven star is going to move up to the northwest. All right. The northwest sector is usually metal. It is usually the man area of the home or the breadwinner. It's the area that brings in your clients and your business. So we really, really, really want to focus on that. If you have a home business, um, if you are married, okay, or in a relationship living in the same home, you really want to pay attention to this area. You want to take out the metal uh, as much as possible. All right. And add water, water element, which could be a fish tank there. Okay. A fish tank, um, with some really healthy fish. All right. And constantly cleaning the water. You want to put a salt water cure there. If not a fish tank, a blue rug will do a blue blanket, depending on what area that is of your home. You want to keep it very quiet. All right. Um, do not slam a door if it's near there. Okay. Um, 
So the water element is what we're going to use. You can also use a feng shui cure of a uh, blue elephant and a blue, um, oh, what was it, rhinoceros, I believe. Um, so the blue feng shui cure, okay, so is water. You want to maybe get an anti robbery sticker you can get those online as well pretty reasonable you want to put one of them in the northwest and you want to grab two of them if you do get the stickers and also put one in the southeast we'll talk about that in a short while as you know <coughs> corner to corner okay energy flows in the house so it starts from the center and it spreads out all right throughout the home so the north is illness, the northwest is the robbery and violent star. You want to make sure that you don't put anything expensive um, out in the windows to draw any, you know, bad energy people towards your home. All right. And take precautions here in the northwest area to keep your business flowing, to keep your man uh, supported. Okay. Um, some men don't believe in any of this, so us women have to back them up, all right? We know this uh, uh, from, you know, experience. So what I want to do now is I want to go back now to the back corners of the home. We want to protect them as well, all right? So first one, we're going to go back to the uh, women's corner, basically the southwest, the southwest corner is going to be afflicted by a number three star, which is a um, hostile, quarrelsome star. So it wants to fight, all right, the energy of fighting, um, getting angry, throwing fits, all right. Um, so that's another area where you want to check um, on what's going on in that area. So if you spend a lot of time uh, in the southwest, which is also considered the romance um, sector of the home for some people. Um, I did learn that it's not for everyone. It has to do with your KUA numbers, okay? It could be your business uh, sector. For me, it's um, actually my health sector. So I really um, was drawn to that uh, section of the home the minute I moved in here and didn't even know why, that it was the ladies um sector right for romance and things like that so it's energy is still there for that um but it ended up to be my um best health direction so you want to find out where your best directions are okay so this number three star is um like i said a hostile quarrelsome star uh what i suggest in that area for this year is going to be a metal element um, it could be white curtains if it's a special room um, you know round white bowls uh, rocks in the bowl you know regular rocks you know beautiful rocks from outside uh, is good for certain people mine is pottery uh, you'll learn that when you look up your kua numbers um, and then uh, because of the quarrelsome star coming in um, we want to add like red fire element so I did happen to have uh, red apples here they do have feng shui red apples which are peace apples they say peace on them um, so you can add um, a candle a um, you know like an orange blanket a purple blanket an amethyst will be great the amethyst um, stone will be awesome that will bring in more peace so if that is your um, section where you're spending a lot of time in you really want to protect yourself your business your relationships right and control your temper because sometimes uh, it's a collective energy that comes through the air and you get angry over nothing so before you react breathe and relax and know what's going on and leave that um, area take a walk all right so you don't break up your family because that's what um, I see coming a lot of more arguments and divorce and things like that so we want to spend as less time in those areas uh, as possible all right 
you can always change back later. But if you find that you have a relationship where you were already fighting, you know, before, you don't want to spend a lot of time in that area, okay, why it's afflicted. The next area, of course, is the southeast corner of the home. Uh, every home is going to be hit with the lovely five star, which is the immense fortune star, which hit in the um, south area of the home. Um, is still sitting in there right now, which is misfortune. So southeast is the um, home's money corner. Okay, for every home, that's the money corner. Um, but for me, with my KUA number, it's not um, my money corner. And I found that out, so it's amazing. So um, I don't activate that corner. Other people will activate it. Um, so this year we're going to be hit with the five star in the southeast. I want you to pay a lot of attention to what's going on in your finances, okay? And um, that is a misfortune star. There are some feng shui cures that you can um, purchase if you'd like to do that. That's um, an easy fix for you and your family. What I suggest is metal, okay? The metal element um, I took some um, horseshoes and placed them back there, all right, and um, prepared myself. You can use a salt water cure as well. Keep it very quiet, no construction, no banging doors, no screaming, yelling, um, you know, things like that. You want to keep it quiet. So what we're looking at at this moment is the two back corners of the home, Okay, the southeast, the southwest, which are both going to be afflicted. And we see an affliction in the north and the northwest. So if I went from southeast corner to the northwest corner, I want to protect them two corners the most. Because that is the both corners where our money comes and goes. Okay, and then in the center... We'll talk about that right now. The center is coming in with the six star, which is a heavenly mentor luck. Okay, so in the center, you want to clean the center of every room. Okay, and especially the center of your home. So, you know, if you have to measure out your home to find the center, I would do so. Um, you know, if you live alone, um, you know, you can kind of measure it out, okay, to the best of your ability. Um, I find myself doing that here, and I use like a heavy thing to hold down the tape measure end as I am doing that. Uh, so in the center, we can place our um, wealth bowl, uh, beautiful crystals, all right? Keep it clean, keep it looking beautiful as possible, depending on what is in the center of your house? What room is that? I have a client where her house goes in a circle. So she couldn't really figure it out. So we worked on it together. Lots of fun. Okay. The lovely wealth star. Everybody listen up. Let your ears perk up. The eight star is going to fly into the west. Okay. This year. So in the west um, is my kitchen window. And thankfully, it has a lovely window sill. I don't know what area your west is. That's usually family, okay, area, children area. So um, this area, you want to really make it beautiful, okay? You can add your wealth bowl there, your blessing bowl there, your blessing cards. Um, whatever wealth means when you um, design your wealth area. Okay, so in between the center and the west, you want to really amplify that with wealth items. Okay, it could be gold coins, you know, um, feng shui coins, you know, whatever that is for you. All right, and add in the west more yellow and more brown. Okay, so we worked on the west area. Um, we're going to go to the um, east, straight across, okay? So you go from the center of your home 
um, all the way across, all right? Now, the East has the affliction right now, okay, of the five stars. So, um, that is misfortune still sitting in the East, okay? So, you want to avoid the East as much as possible right now. We're going to shift out of that. We're going to go to the four star, okay, which is uh, love and academic. So, if you have children um, and you want to um, see them, you know, really flourish this year, then you could set up a little desk in the East, okay, um, for them to flourish. I would suggest um, still uh, paying attention to the East because we have the three killing stars. So you don't want to make a lot of noise back there in the East um, sector of your home. Um, you know, and if you want more love, that might be where you can add your Mandarin ducks or, you know, whatever love is for you. A heart, you know, Valentine's is coming um, at this point. So you want to keep it uh, very clean, okay, in that area as well and quiet. I would not do any construction there either, okay. Um, now, let's see, we're going to go to the northeast, okay, which is our future prosperity star coming in, the number nine. But we also have to deal with um, Jupiter that is coming in there. So you do not want to face the northeast, okay, because you are banging faces with Jupiter, okay as um, it's like almost like arguing with this but the Northeast is going to be future prosperity star number nine which is a good star you can add um, beautiful energy to that area the wonderful thing about it is that you can sit in that area okay for um, a while and face the opposite way, okay? So, what I would like to do is take everybody um, by the hand this year and just, you know, upgrade our lives, all right? So, the Northeast is not a, not going to be uh, too badly afflicted. Um, we're going to see that in um, February through March, it's going to also have the eight star fly in, which is prosperity. So that might be an area where we want to spend a little more time working on our business plans. Okay, the Northeast, find out where that uh, area is in your home. Mine happens to be my bedroom. Okay, one of my bedrooms. So um, that area there, find out where that is with your compass and, you know, sit in that area with your desk or your laptop or whatever if you have a business all right but not facing that corner okay uh listen carefully to what i'm saying this is important now for the south sector of the home okay it is going to be the number one star okay and usually if you know the south section of our homes and businesses is where our fame and fortune comes from okay and it's usually a fire energy um so we know that there's fire there and um what's been going on right now is the number two star is still sitting there and that's the illness star okay so for those of you that um are ready to set up you know, an office in the south or some beautiful area, get ready to do that when we shift over. Uh, that's a victory and success um, area for this year. All right, so what we're going to want to bring in is um, green, okay? Uh, more green in to that area. All right, so plants will be great. If you have plants, they can go outside wonderful uh, greenery all right would be awesome so you can put in um, round um, 
leaves plants okay no points no cactus all right I already made a point out all the way around my house um, to remove every pointed object all right so cactus plants um, were removed from out there okay so I do not um, have any pointed plants uh, in my home or around my house I learned that the pointed plants were not you know good for our energy and especially cactus I had like a mm, hundred and fifty footer out there and it was extending across the yard I had it taken down and the argument stopped so you know look around your house and see what is ready to be shifted and start getting your supplies okay it's not that expensive when you do it the easy breezy way that I am suggesting here so in the north we want to pay attention um, to that illness star okay we do not want the virus or the flu or the bug or any you know injuries happening all right for you or your family this is serious to me all right I take this very seriously you may know me you may not know me but I am very serious I also have a sense of humor I keep my joy regardless of what's going on okay there's an inner joy that was placed in me um, a long time ago so thankfully that's still sitting there so that number two big metal all right so get out that uh, big metal all right um, if you have to invest in a couple of things please do so that's very important for you and your loved ones if you have elderly um, people please if you can go over their home and take care of that for them all right they don't even know what I'm talking about some of you are just learning this it's very interesting it's um, you know important to take care of ourselves and our home a lot of people this year are going to be still fighting rioting okay we could see a lot of um, new inventions coming out electronics okay working on the internet more um, uh, maybe uh, what I'm feeling is anybody who can do computer coding will become very wealthy uh, we're still going to see delivery um, of things, okay? More internet uses, shopping, online. Uh, delivering is going to, you know, keep going, and that's going to be a prosperous business. Police and ambulance, um, you know, prosperous. I can tell you that right now, all right? Um, so there you go. If you want to study this year and learn, that would be great. If you're into... Um, you know anything with um, business all right uh, you could really see yourself grow this year all right but you want to work with the feng shui of your home first of all so get it set up I'm giving you time right now to get your supplies ready all right um, and then you know protect yourself um, watch your back there may be a lot of backstabbing all right um, depending so people that you might have thought you knew might stab you in the back because of these robbery violence quarrelsome stars so protect yourself all right um, you know get some feng shui jewelry for yourself get your protectors whatever they are for you it could be the cross for you you feel safe wearing the cross um, you feel safe wearing an angel all right put them in your car as well all right um, I I'm going to um, take you into the next step when we get there but right now this is enough for all of us to um, get started on um, and if you have any questions contact me uh, right underneath the video in the description box all the information's there I will be um, going live with Alara um, the 26th of January and I'll share some of this but also I want to talk about shifting out of the mental states we're in the timelines we're in um, helping you to 
have a better life, okay? That's my main um, goal to be here on the planet, is to help everyone that, you know, is ready to um, achieve their best life ever in the best way possible for you as an individual. I really hope that this video has helped you a lot, not just a little, but a lot. Please um, share this video with as many people as you can. All right, loved ones, friends, your social media, uh, you know, wherever. I want you to begin sharing the good news, okay? And the cures and protection modes, okay? We really want to protect ourselves from the negativity around us and keep ourselves peaceful and joyful, all right? So I myself like to play upbeat music right? When I'm feeling, you know, like I need some energy, I need some, you know, juice, I turn on that dance music, all right? And I will take a walk um, out in the sunshine when possible, all right? When it's not too chilly for me here, don't make me laugh, I'm in Florida. Um, but anyway, you know, uh, I want you to have a really um, happy, safe, prosperous and healthy, especially healthy new year. All right. So thank you so much for joining me today. I will talk to you again soon. Blessings to you and your family.